gingerbread bed. This is basalt. Basalt is a rock that forms from magma of an iron and magnesium rich chemistry. And as it cools, it can form into some really incredible shapes. So let's take a quick look at three of some of the most interesting ones. Number one, columnar basalt, or columnar jointing, is a type of basalt that forms into these hexagonal pillars. The basalt can cool and form into some really neat shapes, from the typical vertical columns to fans and rosette patterns. I recently shared a video from an adventure to the Columbia River basalt, a very large span of basalt that you can find in places like eastern Washington and portions of Oregon. And this stuff is the product of something called a flood basalt. It's called a flood basalt because literally magma flooded the landscape. Up next, hoi hoi is a ropey, smooth texture. It flowed with low viscosity, a bit like water, but liquid rock. Yeah, melted rock. So as you can guess, very hot material. These flows result in a thin, smooth pattern, like wavy, cooled strips of lava. We took a closer look at this stuff when I visited the craters of the moon, where the continent is literally rifting itself apart, so check that out. Number three, pillow basalt. The result of basalt material flowing into water, and it makes these cool, rounded, pillow-like shapes. And we can find this stuff all over the West Coast US today. It's associated with an ancient piece of land that actually formed out in the ocean. So how did it go on to form the Western portion of America? Well, I just talked all about this in a video about the Olympic Peninsula, where we took a close up view of these pillow basalts. And lastly, as a bonus, vesicular basalt. This is basically basalt with a lot of vesicles in it. And these are simply the result of air bubbles in the lava when it cooled. If you want to know more about any of these cool things I talked about today, there's a virtual field trip here already for each of the locations. Or just sub and join me on the next hey, adventure. Just a real quick message from me, Heather, the host here at Let's Go Geo. Actually, I am host, videographer, photographer, editor, creator, all that stuff. This channel is run solely by me and I started it because I do love geology and all things related to the topic and I love teaching and I thought it would be a great way to bring to people that in the field experience but digitally so Let's Go Geo was born. The project's going well but I have a lot of great other ideas so if you want to help me out support me and help the project move along you can find me on Patreon and you can become a fan there as well as get access to exclusive content. So head over to Patreon.